Welcome back to Huffler Garage. So this is another video in our Huffler Marine series. So today I've gotten my 12 horsepower Hankai two-stroke in. This 12 horsepower is basically a copy of a Tahatsu. If you watched our previous video we just released, our 18 horsepower Hankai is basically a copy of a Yamaha. So between these two, we definitely want to test them out. But for today, we are going to show you the unboxing and the initial setup of getting your motor ready for the water. Let's open her up. All right. Pull our foam out. Put that to the side. All right, first thing we have in here is our fuel tank. And this is a 24 liter. We also have the fuel line that connects the tank to the engine. We have our manual. And this comes with two spark plugs, the emergency start rope, a gasket, and the impeller, an extra impeller. And then also we have a tool kit. And what comes in this tool kit? Pretty simple, screwdriver, spark plug puller, uh, two double-sided wrenches, 12 millimeter, 14 millimeter, 10 millimeter, and an eight millimeter, and a set of pliers. So let's get this engine out of the box and up on the stand. So the first thing you're going to do to get your motor ready for the water is you've got to put grease in your foot. So for this, you're going to use SAE 90 gear lubricant. And with this, we bought the Ozark Trail pump and it does come with an adapter for different boats. Uh, for this one, we're actually going to be using the adapter. And on this motor here, you have your drain plug and then you have two screws up here one is for the water flush so you can flush out your foot if you go into salt water and then the other is for your gear lube so on this one you're going to use the one closest to the throttle side of the engine so we're going to pull this one and then we're also going to pull our bottom one we're going to hook our pump up and get to pumping this foot requires 250 milliliters set our plug right there pull this bottom one all right so to set this up we're going to screw this in where we pulled the bottom plug out well maybe if i can get it started all right Now that we have that in there, with that top plug out, we should just be able to fill it all the way up. And our jug right now is at 700 milliliters, which means we should pump it to 550 milliliters. We're just gonna start pumping until we see a little bit come out of this top piece. 100. Actually, my math was wrong. So, 250 subtracted from 700 is 450. Pump that down. Getting close to that 450 mark. So, we should start seeing the oil, the grease. Oh, and that's what happens if you overfill it, which means you can't actually overfill it. So we're going to put our top plug in. Now I can't fully explain the science behind this, but when we pull this out, the oil should stay in the foot as we put in that bottom plug. And there's a little leakage. Well, 
A few drops came out, but really not that much. And bam, that's how you put your gear lube in. Use a paper towel to wipe us up. And now we can go through the process of hooking up our fuel tank and getting her started up. So now that we have the gear lube in the foot, we are ready to start this thing up. When you go to mix your fuel, your fuel is a 25 to 1 for your break-in period, and that is 5 ounces per gallon. So we're going to hook up this fuel line here, and on the 12 horsepower here, it is in the front up by the throttle. And it goes in like so, snaps in. Our choke on this thing is actually pretty nice. It's metal, and it has a nice click to it. Make sure your engine is in neutral, and we're going to turn the water on and get yanking on it. Okay, we got our water on. We'll get this thing primed. Now with our 18 horsepower, when we went to start it, it started on the first pull. Let's hope we get so lucky on this one. Do not believe we're going to be so lucky on this one. So that is our unboxing and setup of the 12 horsepower Hankai. If you've enjoyed this video, follow us for more. We're going to get this 12 horsepower and 18 horsepower out on the water and show you a lot of different things that we can do with them. And we hope you've enjoyed. Please like and subscribe and follow for more.